hello guys in this video I am going to show you how we can convert an image into base 64 and then upload that base 64 to the server using dotnet core API to convert a base 64 into a string I am going to use this website called base 64 guru and I will also share this link in the description section okay but if you are using any web application or creating a web application and you want to convert any image into base 64 then you can use JavaScript to convert any image into base 64 okay so I uh, have already created one video about this to convert any image into base 64 and you can find the link at the top right corner in the card and I'll, I will also share that link in the description section so let's proceed to convert any image into base 64 so I will first choose here the local file and I will click on choose file here and you can see that I am going to select this image okay so after selecting this I will click on encode image to base 64 okay. so you can see image is available here in base 64 okay but I will uh, not use this right now I will first go ahead and implement the code to save the image from base 64 string to the server so I will copy here this first step create request body class I will copy this class okay and I will call that class let me go ahead in the visual studio and here I will create that class inside this model okay so I will right click here add class and I will name it as upload file okay upload file and I will click on add so let me make this class as public so I have already copied that code over there so I will just paste it here you can see now the upload file is created and now I will do my next task and that is create the action method so I will create the action method so I let me copy this code from here and now I will go to account controller and here I will paste my code here okay so you can see here that I already have the all DLL imported here so if you fail any issue then make sure that you have imported the memory stream and for image format you are having this system dot drawing dot imaging this uh, this this class imported system dot drawing dot imaging okay in the using section okay and here you can see inside the upload upload image I am taking two parameters one is image and other is type so in image it is base 64 string and in type it is the image type so here I have converted that base 64 string into the byte array and from that byte array I have converted it into a memory stream and from that memory stream I have converted in it into the image okay and that converted image I am saving at this location www root and abc let me change the file name here as well if you want 
to change the file name then you can take the file name from the parameter so now let me run this and also make sure that you have converted that www root folder inside the project okay this one okay so let me delete this file ebc that is not required right now okay so make sure that www root folder is created and now i will run this project and one more thing i would like to tell you that here i have allowed it allow, allow anonymous because i don't want this api to be authenticated okay but if you are developing this project then please make sure that you have added or remove this allow anonymous i have added that because of the uh, ease of access to in the demonstration okay so now the project is running and let me go to the postman so here you can see this is the image so let me first remove this one okay so now i have removed that image and also let me add here the type in type i am going to send the png type of image and the image i will copy it from from here which i just converted so i have clicked on copy and it has copied now and now let me go ahead here and paste it here okay and one more thing i need to add here a comma so now our api is ready to use and you can see this is the upload file we just added in the root okay and in before root i have added account and that account is taking from the controller so you can see this is the controller root and this is the action method url upload image okay so now let me hit the send button to so before that let me also me put the breakpoint here so and now let me run this control has read to the breakpoint so now i will do f10 here to step over one by one so now you can see it has converted into the byte array and now it has converted into the memory stream and now it's in the image okay and now i am about to save the image but before that let me check here uh, yes you can see this is a type png and now let me again do f10 and yes we can see here in the ww root you can see the, here it, it has already saved the file with the name of xyz.png okay as we have given the path and here is the concatenated png at the last after a dot so I will click on continue so you can see we got the 200 status okay that means our image has saved at this location and i have saved it in the ww root folder because in dotnet core we can only access those files which are available or which are present inside this ww root folder okay so make sure that whenever you upload anything in dotnet core and then you must need to upload it in www w root folder okay so that it can be accessible publicly so that's all guys in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel